senior class speaker, Lupita Faye. Mr. Graham told me not to talk about farting in my speech. <laughs> Don't worry, no flatulence here. Um, this stanza from Walt Whitman's Leaves of Grass resonates well with my class. I resist anything better than my own diversity and breathe the air and leave plenty after me. And I'm not stuck up and I'm in my place. When you look at the group of students sitting in front of you, what do you see? well, other than a bunch of good-looking youngsters. <laughs> I'd imagine that you see 17 young adults, faces glowing with bright futures ahead of them. Well, you are wrong, but not entirely. There is a lot more to us than the stereotypical seniors awaiting their end of high school. We all do have bright futures ahead of us and anticipate the end of our Midland careers, but what you see and what my classmates and I see when we look at each other is something entirely different. When we look at each other, we see freaks. I know that there is this stigma about how a freak is a bad thing, but at Midland, freaks are welcome. For years, the school has been run with freaks, and yes, this includes the faculty and even the head of school. <laughs> <laughs> to the outside world, a freak is someone who fully expresses himself or herself to the point where everybody judges him or her for how genuinely open he or she acts on their ways of living, ways of dressing, ways of eating, and especially ways of communicating. Midland fosters these sort of honest, self-expressing freaks, especially in my class. Us freaks in all our quirky nature are the future. For four years, I've walked along the campus's dusty surface and imagined where I will be in 10 years. Where will my classmates and peers be? There are film writers, architects, politicians, film engineers, astrophysicists, botanists, ranch managers, EMTs, doctors, chemical engineers, and many more are sitting in front of you. But going back, what does this have to do with Walt Whitman? Our class holds this diversity that Whitman speaks about in his poem, Leaves of Grass. As freaks, we are each as unique as the next. I resist anything better than my own diversity and breathe the air and leave plenty after me. And I'm not stuck up and I'm in my place. More importantly, in our future, we will attempt to remain unique, challenging ourselves to be as different as we were seconds before, evolving with time. Individually, we might encounter immense obstacles, but at least we are well equipped to address the adversity against us. And breathe the air and leave plenty after me. And I'm not stuck up and I'm in my place. Midland's philosophy, community, and environment has assisted us, has assisted every single student standing before you to breathe the air and leave plenty after us. Midland has assisted each of us in finding the most efficient and unwasteful solutions to our problems. Through the principle of talk, taking what we need to fix a problem, Midland has helped us find our place in the world. When I say taking what we need to fix a problem, I don't mean chopping wood or fixing a light bulb or making shower fires. I mean using our resources like teachers or mentors or the knowledge we've received from them to fix the mental dilemma that runs through each adolescent's mind. What the hell are we going to do with our lives? Without Midland, we wouldn't be sitting here. I wouldn't be speaking and all of you wouldn't recognize how fantastic my class is. And I'm not stuck up and I'm in my place. Each of my classmates holds their own sense of place wherever they go. We don't get stuck in time. We don't get lost in our own paths. Wherever we are, we are right where we need to be. One more Whitman quote. I believe a leaf of grass is no less than the journey work of the stars. We, now I'm addressing my class, are as simple as the leaves of grass or wild rye in our case but the paths we've constructed for ourselves are as complex as the universe's celestial composition. If we get lost, we'll find our way. Thank you guys for allowing me to cherish my most simplest and most difficult times with you. <laughs> <laughs>